what time it is? What time is it? It's time for some rascal stuff. It man. is time for some rascals. Hello, friends. Hello, my friends. It's a wonderful day. It is a wonderful day. So it's kind of funny because, you know, um, we were talking about, like, a couple weeks ago, last week, whatever, uh, we were talking about how we got started off doing this thing. And this episode... <laughs> this, this, this episode. This episode. On this episode of the Renaissance Rascals. We discuss <laughs> character development, character traps, and pigeonholing. Yes. All three things that are very important when you start this journey... Um, to become really any kind of actor, right? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter <clears throat> what it is you're trying to do, whether it be Renaissance, haunted houses, like I said, dinner theaters, plays, old West reenactments, whatever. It all starts with the basic. Oh, I forgot you do that too. Pr principle. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts with the basic principle of who am I? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> What, why am I here? What am I doing? Yep. You know, wh where am I going to go from here? And and that's, you know, I think anyone who has done this for any length of time will tell you, um, you, you have to know your motivation. You know, it, it, it's, it's funny because I was just thinking that. Um, I had a drama teacher when I was in high school who told me, if you do not know your character's motivation... Yes. It's... How can you properly portray the character? Well, I mean, dude, uh, I don't know. Shakespeare said he says this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but, it, it, which is good when you go. Oh well, he said this. Why did he say that? Right. You know, and, and, and being able to break that down, it, 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 I like to look at it like, uh, you know, what what does that person? What is the persona that you are taking on? What are they after? Exactly. You know, without without having to use the word motivation, what are they after? What are, what are they here for? Yeah, right. You know. And then my favorite thing is you know how to avoid pitfalls. Yes. Always keep in mind, and then. And then. And and then what? And then they did this. I mean, and you ever listen to like a, a five year old kid try to tell you a story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, it, it, it dumbs it down, but all good actors should take notes from the five-year-old kid yeah. who's trying to tell you about how they tied their shoe. Uh -huh. You know, I sat down, and then I, I, I put my, my socks on, and then I, I did my left foot first, and then, uh, then I did my right foot, and then I grabbed my shoes... And then. And then. And then. And it, it, it's, it, unfortunately, it always goes back because the way that I look yeah. to, dude, where's my car? No yeah. way <laughs> Well, you know, I, it, it, and it's funny because we use the similar yes and. Yes. You know, in improv, which Correct. We'll, we'll get in, we'll dive into in a different episode. Right. Um, but it, it's, it's the same thing. Right. You know, where, where, where are we going with all this? What's the, I don't know, what's it's going to be a hell of a journey. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way I look at it, man. I just buckle up, kids. This yeah, I don't, I don't really understand how we got to this point, but hey, here we are. Well, you know, and, and that's the cool thing, is that we, we while we were looking at this from uh, the standpoint of how can we help other people out, Yes, uh, I do recall you saying, but think about it. We're going to be helping people, and we're going to be helping ourselves to better our craft. Yes. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that there are tons of tools out there to get you started. Um, For sure. Especially when you're talking about unraveling what your character's purpose and why, you know? Um, right. It, we, we kind of briefly talked about it, like, um, and, and I really wish I would have saved my, my, um, my character sheet. Right. Um, to the drive so that people could see kind of like where I went. Um, you know, yeah, because you you started you started off as, um, you know, we, we a random pirate, a random dude, you yeah. know, um, with no real aspirations to be on the cast. No, no. Um, and then it, it was kind of like, oh wait, I'm really gonna do this. Yeah. Um, and so you you really started from ground zero. Correct. With with no nothing. <laughs> I, I literally knew two people that worked at the festival. Right. And those were the two people that invited me to audition. Right. Which, 
you just happen to stumble into. One, one of which was the the, the casting director. So right. It, it it was meant to be, and, and I I do thank that uh, I, I do thank them every single chance that I can get. To oh, absolutely. I, I do I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, even even after all the time that I've. I've known him, and you know, I, I still do thank you for yeah for right. bringing me and letting me. We're talking me to you. You know let, what we're talking. You to. know what we're talking to. Resting dad face. Um, <laughs> judgmental. <dad face. laughs> it's not resting. It's judgmental. It is dad totally face. judging. I know he's judging us. Yes, I, he's. I, I, I can just see him right now going, "What did I do?" Um, I could see him going. <laughs> Somebody, anybody that's on our friends list, share this. You know who you need to send yes, it to. Send it to them. Um, but yeah, so so up on the, up on the screen, we do have uh, the character sheet, and this yes. is the one that that we use at the at the festival when we, you know, um, especially for the new the new people yes. that are coming in. You um, know, consequently, this is the same thing that I actually use um, for my tabletop role playing games. Absolutely, and and see, you, <laughs> I'm glad you touched on that because that's another just aspect of of it's, acting. It's and improv char- and character development. Yeah, it's it's you improv. Know? It's character development. It is, it is 100. percent I mean, you start with that seedling of an idea of you know, like for me, I, right? Oh, actually, we both have the same beginning. Yes, I'm a pirate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we both started off that way, and then it morphed mine, mine a little bit quicker than yours, but it, it started the same way. So when you look at this, you know, it, it's harder when you're looking at joining a troop, like, correct? Like a cast, like like what we have at CRF, um, because you don't know where you fit. Where I mean, we're gonna talk about that later on. Yes, but it's it's real hard because. What's my job? What am I here for? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The job is to entertain the the patrons that come through the door and give right. them a reason to stop thinking about. <laughs> well, what's that's that's out the gate. that's your job as as Rob, <laughs> is, is is but your job as Yan Shang. Yes, correct. Is, is different. Yes, and I think a lot of people when I talk to them, they're like, oh well, I, I just do this. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what does your character do? That what so that's that's what you know we want to touch on in, in this episode yes. is this this is you know l- like we said like I said in the in the promo video um, you know the journey of a of a thousand miles starts with a single step this is this character sheet is step number one yes that is right this the first step you have to take is to figure out what's my character's name where is my character from. What is the motivation of my character? And what are, for God's sake, it cannot be to murder the king. Yes, stop. Oh, good Lord have mercy. Not everyone can murder the king and the queen. Um, I, <laughs> but this goes back to our end then. And then, yeah. And then, and, and then what? So you so, killed the king. Yeah, great. Now you're going to die. It, it, would, <laughs> it would be funny. It would be funny if somebody was waiting to play King Louis in the, in the wings. This, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Sorry, King, King King Louis, not 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 like like Louis of France, not yeah. Jungle Book. Right, right, right. Although I I'll take Jungle Book. I'll take day. Jungle Book too. So yeah, no, I, I I like I like the way that you said that. You know, it, it starts off with with your name, like, right? Like, and and for me, I I didn't start with a name because I'm not Chinese, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I, I I play one on television, right. <laughs> but. I didn't. I didn't know. Like, I had to look up naming conventions and stuff like that. Sure. I, I started off with with an idea, and then from there, I actually filled out the majority of, of everything else. So when you look at, at at going down in the motivations, that's where I started. Right. So so initially, when when you first said, "Okay, I'm going to do this," right. what was I'm a what what did your character <laughs> look like? What what did you envision at the beginning? And then after filling this out, because this isn't the only step in this yeah, whole no, process. No, 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 Th- no. This is like, like I said, step number one. Yep. yep. This, so is, this what, is the outline. So what initially did you see your character as? Honestly, like like I we had said before, um, I was probably going to be dressed up like somebody from the Golden Age, you know, like a Golden Age pirate. Sure. Um, but it, it changed with direction from uh, casting director, assisting dire- assistant director. 
Uh, okay, cool. We're not going to dress like that because everybody looks like that. Correct. Um, and, and it's not because I'm like, ooh, look at me, look at me. Um, it, no, he's totally lying. It is. Shut up. Me. Hey, it's the robes. The robes look beautiful. <laughs> um, they do. I, I, I can't. I can't lie. I, I didn't want to blend in with the background, really. Right. I mean, I make the joke about I'm the best tree in in the forest. Sure. You know, but at the same point, it's like I want people to know that guy lives here. Yes. You know, Yen Sheng lives here. Um, I want people to be uh, be able to identify that I'm part of the village. Right. Know? Right. And. and Er, er, thereby part of the cast. Right. Um, but yes, the, the idea, the concept was Golden Age of, pir- uh, Golden Age of Piracy. Um, I, I'm going to look like, you know, somebody off of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Okay. Uh, and then it, it got even funnier. <laughs> oh, look, and then. And, and Yes. <laughs> and then it got even funnier because they told me, hey... We got a lot of pirates. We got a lot of people that dress up like pirates. Yes. So I started thinking about like, well, where else are there pirates? Like that. That's that. It didn't just happen in the in the Caribbean. Yeah. No. 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 It, not it, at it all. All over the world. Mm-hmm. And so I started doing a lot of research. National Geographic is where I started. I'm just being honest. Right. I, I bought a book about pirates and I started Absolutely. reading about that. Uh, and then I came across the sh- section that was talking about the East. So I was like, okay, cool. That's where it's at. And so that, there there, I started diving into, and that's how I started, you know, I'm not even going to talk costumes right now. Like, like, let's just talk, let's just talk like the, 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 the character themselves. Co- correct. Okay. So. Costuming is going to be a completely yeah, no, different episode. We got somebody, we got an expert coming for that. <laughs> so, um, you know, you, you look down here and there's some things that I, cause I missed the workshop during rehearsal for this, the sheet. Right. Um, fortunately, this is very familiar to me, and, and I, you know, when you have the power of a computer at your hands, you can, you can find anything. But I had to figure out, like, where, where do I live? I'm right. not, I'm not, I'm not just a Western pirate. Uh, now I'm, I'm an Eastern pirate, so I, I'm apparently, you know, my apparent age, I, I don't know, I think I look like I'm 42, Sure. You know, maybe I might be able to get away with 30 if I shave off the mustache I'm getting arrested. <laughs> um, it's a joke for later. Uh, you know, and so I had to figure out, like, I needed roots. And I needed to, to start with the origin. That's where I like to begin when I'm doing a character. I like to figure out where did, he st- where did they start from. Okay. So, okay, cool. Pirate. Chinese pirate. All right, cool. Why would a Chinese pirate be here? Right. You know, and so then I started backtracking, and, and, and I kept on bouncing back and forth. Um, and, and as I was doing that, I was filling out the sheet. Mm-hmm. So I would go into, uh, you know, like I started nationality. I'm Chinese. Okay, cool. Uh, where do I live? I live on a boat. Okay, cool, great. Uh, apparent age. I'm not even going to bother filling that. What's my overarching want? Yeah. Well... I'm trying to establish trade in the West. Yeah. Period. That very simple statement, right? Right. I, I mean, a character, when you're writing them, does not have to have three paragraphs, Keith. Pages, Keith. <coughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> it, kiss, man. Keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't go with that. No, so, no. So you were now, writing an epic. Absolutely. I was writing a movie, man. Yes. Um, so now the name Yen Shang, is yes. that an actual, it re- actually, is that a real person? No. Or is it just kind of an amalgamation of, uh, No, I, I, like, I just think the name sounds cool. I, I found, um, and if you guys have problems with trying to find um, names or trying to create a name for your character, um, just Google search like name generator for Dungeons and Dragons or any role playing game. So that's how I came up with the name Adelborn? Baron Robert Adelborn. Is it really? Is, was a random name. I had no idea. I, I was so stuck. I was like, I, I want something. Dude, just. I, I, I just need something. Just I need think about something. It. You could have been Wallace. Yeah. I mean, it, and so I, I just put put <laughs> into this name generator, you know, kind of what my yeah. character was going to be. Right. And it spits out Robert Adelborn. And I went. 
I like it. And so, so the name generator. Them. So, did it give you the three or? or no, no. Okay. I, I, that was part of the story that I, I okay. came up with. But yeah, that was the name it popped out. So, lend credence to what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. I'm telling I, you, I, and that was the very first one that popped up. I could have kept going, but I just went. That sounds very noble. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, see, and and Yen Shang. This is funny because hey, kids, I'm Chinese. Last name first. Yes. So. It, it, it cracks me up that uh, within the cast, some people, they refer to me as Shang. Yes. Uh, which, while that would be correct, the people that refer to me that way are trying to use the last name. Right. Or they'll say Captain Shang. Captain Shang. It, it, it's Captain Yen. So, it, it, it's funny. But yeah, name generator, man. I mean... It, when you're building your character, dude, don't rack your brain unless you have like <laughs> have that thing that is like, I have got to be Sinus Pinebender. He's a yeah. real he's a real person, by the way. Uh, he's a highwayman and out of England. Um, you if you have that that person that you're trying to be like historically, yes, or or try to be an approximation thereof because we are historically adjacent. Adjacent, um, because there are some characters, uh, some cast members that are. Portray characters that in, in in real history yes are utter and complete bastards yes, but they don't play them that way correct because what's the fun in that yeah yeah that's not good that's that's not uh, you know good made for families well and you who know. wants to go to a festival to be berated like like you're scum or I'm gonna take your head off oh absolutely like, yeah no 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 yeah yeah that's no fun for anyone I mean parents. I do take tips in scotch eggs to threaten your children. <laughs> <laughs> I can be bribed. Yes, yes. Scotch eggs. For scotch eggs. From the Queen's Pantry. <laughs> right next to the pavilions. That, that's right next to the Royal Pavilions. Yes. Not not the picnics down by the joust. No. Just, they, just, they don't have scotch eggs there. But, you know, it, it does it does help when you, you can find the tools that are out there. And being, I, I know that there's one other member on the cast that... that um, they did not have an acting background. Actually, the story that I was given was that this person joined the cast because their end goal is to become a better dungeon master at running tabletop games. Yes. Like, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> I That is perfect because this is 100%. This this will help you. Get a hold of this, this, this character sheet. Um, it's not hard to find it. It's just called character develop, development sheet. You can find it. Just Google it. Google. Um, and some of these things you're going to have to look up. Like, what's your archetype? Your, your archetype. Archetype is not like uh, what you would think. Look up drama mm-hmm. and the, the, the different archetypes of, of drama. All right? And that, that will give you an idea of what we're talking about. Um, and, and I can't talk about it without actually having, like, something to say about that. So I'm going to let Keith talk to you while he does that. Yeah, so, so as you're, as Rob was talking about, so my, my character, I started out, um, funny enough, uh, for, you know, years, I played a pirate. Really? Uh, I know, shocking. <laughs> um, <laughs> so e- even before I got onto the cast, that was, you know, I, I was the golden age of pirate, you know, and. I had the I had the flintlocks and the sword and I you know I was I was your typical pirate. It took me six weeks to get a flintlock just so that you. Could... <laughs> yeah. But but that there was actually a reason why I waited that long. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I carried around three of them, um, just uh, overkill. But because <clears throat> he's not good enough with the one. So <laughs> right. <laughs> well, why have one when you can have three? I won't even tell you about the blunderbuss that I carried, but that's cool. <laughs> oh that's, yeah, I, I like that. I had a leg holster for the blunderbuss. No, that that's awesome. But I, I give um, you props for that one, sir. So at the at the end of last year, uh, I said, you know what? If I if I get invited back, I, I need to do something different. Um, and the exact reason that they gave you, like, hey, there's a lot of pirates. You get lost in the crowd. Was the exact thing that made me want to change my character is because I felt lost in the crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, there were so many people being pirates, it was hard to find my my niche. Right. Um, You're all wearing the same colors. Yeah, yeah. And a a lot of it was. And and quite honestly, a lot of people have... And and 
tie it back to what we were originally talking about, like that's where it stops is is the costume. C- correct. You know, I, I want to be a pirate, so I want to look like a pirate. Yes. But, you know, there's so many rich characters and, I, I you know, historical figures that are out there that you could draw reference from. Yeah. Other than, uh, you know, Jack Sparrow or or Blackbeard or one of these these people that they're not really Jack Sparrow, but yeah, yeah. bloodthirsty. There, there's, you know, thirty people a day that come through to the fair as Jack Sparrow. So there's I've no only shortage seen of two. This year, season. this year was a little bit different. We we were light on the Jack. I Sparrows. did see one in Santa Fe though. Yeah, actually, I saw four in Santa Fe. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's why. I decided to change because I was like, man, I, I need something. I need something. To, I just felt stale, you know. No, no, um, I get that. And so it was kind of like, all right, well, now I got to create a whole different character. Well, um, let me ask you because you, you just said that it, it went stale. Were you running out of bits to do? Were they getting? Were you doing the same things over and over? No. Oh, dude, no, 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 no. Um, I mean. You know me well enough to know I will never run out of bits. No. Um, <laughs> you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. Like, but like, but the the thing for me was I it, it was hard for the patrons to differentiate me with the thousands of other pirates that are right. at the fair, especially even, on that weekend. Even, even though I have you know we, we have the cast the pins, pins that say yeah. cast member, all that. So it was still people didn't realize. You know, and they're like, "What's? Why is this dude talking to me?" You know, um, you know, it, I did that when I was a patron. Yeah, <laughs> well, of course, um, I, I did. I did as a patron too. You know, I talked to everybody. You know, yeah, it's, it's kind of what I do. Right. No, um, my kids were ashamed of me. You know, it was great. <laughs> I mean, I am too. But you guys go somewhere else. Daddy's gonna go over here and be a pirate. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was my over. You know, my my need to change right. and, and and expand. Develop something new. Develop something from scratch. And so after I made that decision of, hey, I'm going to do that, I I, <laughs> I was terrified. Because I went, why? What you were already gonna... on cast. I had no idea what I was going to do. Oh. <laughs> All I said was, I'm going to change my character. And they were like, okay, to what? I don't know. <laughs> and so I, I had no idea. And so... I, I I got I got this I got I'm the just character sheet. Envisioning this whole thing. Like, so, this, no, then, it's totally true. And then Keith's just like, uh. I don't know. <laughs> so I got a hold of this character sheet, and I was literally sitting at my desk, and I'm like, I don't even know where to start. What, what am so, I going to do? So how did you how did you get that started then? Um, so originally, my my very first iteration of my character mm-hmm. um, was I was going to base him a lot on uh, if you remember the old Robin Hood movie yes. with, with Kevin Costner yes. the Kevin Costner one yes um, the guy of Gisborne character played okay. by Michael Wincott okay that was who I was gonna be who, who also played the same character in Three Musketeers yeah, exactly <laughs> I know <laughs> it's kind of funny but yeah that that was gonna be my character because I just went that dude is cool and so that's where I started and went, he's not really kid friendly. You know, he's, he's not family no, he's, friendly. He's very cutthroat. How do I make him, f- okay, that's not going to work. But I, but that's what started. You make it kid friendly by going up to every kid and say, why with a spoon, cousin? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no. So so that was, that's where I, I started. Right. And I went, okay, I got to change him a little bit. He's got to be more family friendly. All right, so he's got to be like a noble, oh, a noble. Oh. Okay, all right, all right. So I wrote it down. Okay, he's going to be a noble. All right, got it. That's, for those of you at home playing the, the, the follow-along game. Play the follow-along game. All right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're now rank, rank on the left-hand side in the upper corner there. Yeah, so I, I went, okay, he's going to be noble. All right, cool, cool. All right, what, what am I going to do? Uh, I don't even know what this guy's name is. Name generator. Name generator. And then I went, Adelborn. Okay, cool. Where's he from? And I, I did, because he was a, a, a made-up character, Right. I went through and I, I, I did a place generator. Oh. And, it, and, and this generator Just came up with Umbracinia. Umbracinia. And I'm like, that's cool. Okay. It's not a real place. That's... I'm not a real person. I like it. And so I plugged it in. I just went down the sheet, line by line, going, okay, 
Well, my age is my age. I'm not. Right. <laughs> I'm not trying to pretend I'm a young guy. I'm an 18 year old boy. Yeah, <laughs> like not not doing it, you know. And then I got to you know the archetypes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and so when it comes down to archetypes, what we're actually talk, talking about uh, within writing and drama. Um, there, there's there's a there's 12 common. Yes. Types. All right. There's the lover. Uh, think Romeo and Juliet. Yep. Or Scar Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. Uh, the hero, and when when we talk about this, more like uh, uh, Luke Skywalker or um, Harry Potter yeah. or uh, Achilles. Yeah. That's, that's one of my favorites right there. Um, the magician. Uh, the magician's a powerful figure who has harnessed the ways of the universe to achieve goals. Uh, Prospero, Gandalf, Morpheus. Um, Merlin. Merlin. Uh, the outlaw, the rebel who won't abide by society's demands. Now, actually, when I was writing Yen Shang, this was where I gravitated towards. Yes. Was the outlaw, because... I'm, I'm a pirate over in the East. Yes. But I'm not going to change my demeanor in the West because that's the nature, if you will, of the character. Correct. He is he is constantly the one that won't doesn't want to abide by society's demands. Now, the beautiful thing about that is, is that when you're playing a character like this, think like Han Solo, um, Batman is right. another one, okay? Uh, Robin Hood. Is another one. Yes. You know, if you look at the, the those three characters that I just named off, they are all different variants of the outlaw. Okay. Um, the way that I portray it is I am looking out for my interests. Correct. That's why you're still alive. Mm hmm. Um, you know, it, it, that's that's just the way that it is. Uh, and we, we talked about, like, uh, in the first episode, we talked about how. Yeah, Yen Shang is not above selling somebody out to oh, yeah, further no. his games. Not, not at all. I'm looking at you, pirates. <laughs> so, and then you've got uh, the explorer, who's somebody that's naturally driven to push the boundaries and the status quo and explore the unknown. This one's a little bit harder for most beginning actors to pull off. Yes, um, because they're they're. The, the, their strengths are they're like curious, but they're driven and they're motivated by motivated by like self importance or self improvement. Sorry, uh, think uh, Odysseus from the Odyssey, um, Huckleberry Finn. Yep. Uh, or Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is a good one, but it's kind of hard to do that uh, on the stage that we have. Yeah. Because how do you show that you're doing self improvement? when your interactions are at best 60 to 90 seconds. Correct. So it, it's tough to do. It's I'm not saying it's hard, it, like impossible. It, no, it, it would just take, it, it would take a lot of development to try yes. to f bring around that kind of mindset. To, to wit, I would say that at that point you are, you are going to lean heavily on your castmates. Oh, absolutely. To, to show and kind of point out like, you know, Lord Adelborn wasn't this savvy three months ago. Right. You know, yeah. or, and, and that, kinda has that to help kind of you. archetype would work better in a team. Yes. And not on your own. Yes, correct. Uh, then you've got the sage. This is a wise figure with knowledge for those who inquire. Lord Loquacious. <laughs> Very much so. You know, within, within uh, pop culture, Obi Wan Kenobi, um, Athena, here's one for you. This is actually on the website. Hannibal Lecter. Yes. Like, he's actually a, a sage archetype. He, very much Even so. though he is also an anti-hero. Yes. In Silence of the Lambs. He's straight up a freaking murderer. <laughs> in the, the... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Then you've got the Innocent, who is a morally pure character, often a child, whose only intentions are good. Um, Tiny Tim, Christmas Carol. Um... You, you got Lenny Small from Mice and Men, Buddy the Elf, you know. Right. Um, in in our cast, I would say, um, I would say uh, Little Spud. Oh, absolutely. You know. Yeah, yeah, Little yeah. Little Spud, um, uh, the creator, a motivated visionary who creates art or structures. We we know this guy. We we know this guy. He runs around doing characters. Oh yeah, Mal know. that would be Malapert. Yeah, Malapert. Uh, he, he he would be one. Um, there, there's so many out there. You, you've also got uh, Da Vinci. You know? Da Vinci. I uh, mean, any any of the musicians would fall into that yes, category as well. Yes, 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 yes. 
Uh, and then you've got the ruler. Moving on. <laughs> like we all know who that <laughs> we, is. We, we know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> then you've got the caregiver, a character who continually supports others and makes sacrifices on their behalf. You know, uh, we, we talk about, like, um, Samuel Tarly from Game of Thrones. Absolutely. Mary Poppins. Oh. Uh, on our cast, um, Lady Spud. Yes. You know, Little Spud's mom. Mm -hmm. um, and, and at times, at times, Lucinda. <laughs> yes. Just not although, a, although not when a I children. when I think caregiver, I think Saint Ingrid. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She is. She is definitely. <laughs> she, she sacrifices for there, our greater good. Up there, and the queen. Don't forget the queen. Of course, the queen. Um, the uh, the every man, a reliable character who recognizes, uh, who feels recognizable from daily life. So, like, basically, that dude that everybody knows, Bilbo Baggins, uh, Leopold Bloom from uh, Ulysses, or. Um, Winston Smith from 1984. Uh, more topical, Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I, I have somebody that's relatable. Grounded, salt of the earth. Robin. Adam Bell. Probably, you Adam know, Bell. Uh, I would still put him more in the... I mean, not that you can't switch well, I, and, from, and, from one type to another. And you could of, very well be two. Two of the same. Yes. But yeah, I think that every man, you're, you're going to look at um, kind of the working class. Oh, so you're, yes. You're going you're gonna to look at the people who play like the butcher. Uh, like, the know, rat catcher. The rat catcher. The, the, meni the menial jobs. You know, that, yeah. that everyone has to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, know, the seamstress, yeah. the lady UPS. Here's, here's my absolute favorite, and this is number 12. Okay. And we don't need to talk about any famous references because I'm going to say this, and there's going to be two names that come into your mind. Okay. The Jester. I think we all know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there is the Jester. There is the Jester. The Jester, but... The, the archetype is a funny character or trickster who provides comic relief but may also speak important truths. And when he does speak, he, he's very wise. Just watch out for banana peels. Absolutely. Uh, and the other one, might, one of our, our favorites is uh, Flim Flam. Oh, absolutely. He's, he is a, a trickster. Yeah. And occasionally he says something that's important. He does? When did that happen? Oh, there was that one time. Where, with the, behind the... But, yeah, yeah. doing the thing. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. <laughs> He's going to watch this. He's going to be like, you guys are jerks. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but those are the 12 archetypes, and that, that kind of helps you to understand, like, it gives you a mode or, or a method, if you will, of what your character demeanor is going to be. Correct. How you're going to play that guy. Or that gal, or or whatever. How you're going to play your character? Um, it makes it a lot simpler because now it is. And, and I challenge people: step outside of your 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 comfort zone. Like if you are constantly playing one type of class uh, in in a role playing game, dude, challenge yourself. Play something polar opposite. For sure. If you are like always playing this this cleric or this paladin, and you are 100, percent I am by the rules, dude. Play the outlaw. Mm -hmm. Play the jester. Play something out there. And, and I mean, like I said, you can have multiple archetypes. I like to look at it as a predominant personality, like like your your dominant personality, and then a hidden personality. Like this right. is what you what you are. And the reason why I do it that way is because I like to be able to have those those shared moments, like those those intimate moments that you can create within uh, cast or yep. with specific types of patrons. Like Lord Aleborn is always talking for children and pretty women. <laughs> it happens from time to time. It, it happens more often than you think. No, I don't. I don't believe so. I may or may not have actually pushed you into a lot of those. I'm just saying. But I think you may have something that, to do with that. That is, that is one of those things where it's like if you have that motivation and let's say, because 
here's here's my take. Adelborn is like the king's sword. You know, this is the way that that, that I I read Adelborn. Adelborn is the king's sword. He is one of the people that is in charge, and I, I can't say the word knight because you're not knighted. No, you're not a sir. No, but you could very easily be in charge of a battalion of archers or crossbowmen or pikemen. Right. So, so touch, touching on that <clears throat> as as part of the of the character. Um, the well, arc the archetype yes. that I went with yes was the outlaw and the rebel. Okay, explain. Okay, I know. I, I tell people, and they're like, well, you're not an outlaw. No, but if you read the archetype, it is it is someone who doesn't conform to societal norms. Well, that makes sense, because you the, hang out with a mercenary and a pirate. And the reason I don't is because I didn't ask for the position that I'm in. I was thrust into it because my father and my brother passed away in battle. It was never supposed to be me taking up the mantle of Baron. I was perfectly happy leading my men into battle. Um, as far as Umbrasinia goes, the kind of very small backstory of Umbrasinia is we are kind of the Sparta of England. So when you want when you want fighters, you need knights, you need people who are just going to go fight a battle, you call us and we come. So that's that's our whole thing. Just no no running around kicking people and yelling this is Umbrasinia, okay? That may have happened once. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, no, it's too much to get out before I kick them. Um, but it's, so so that that's it's a slow motion kick. It, oh, it's very slow motion. You can see it coming. Like you didn't dodge that. Come on. Um, no, but that's that's so that's where I went with that is because I, I don't really know how to be on the court. I'm I'm not graceful so, in that aspect but if you if you go hey we need you to go over here and uh, you know there there's people that are invading over here we need you to stop them that's me i'm out you know so that's where i went with that archetype just for the personality of it so that's why when when we walk like we we touched on before we're both very military mm -hmm. we're very parade because that's how i i'm in charge of men so people look up to me like, this is the dude here. <laughs> I'm in charge of men, too. Yeah. On three ships. And so we, we that's where our characters, we, we connect on that yes. level is we're both leaders. And so we have to conduct ourselves as leaders, not, I'm just going to, you know, even though we trudge, we, we trudge in a very military, upright, formal fashion. So I... Both of us can agree. We both started off with the main archetype being uh, the outlaw. What was your secondary? So, I never really got to a secondary. I, I'm sure I, I would probably um, be a hero of some sort. Okay. Just because I, you know, as as former army yourself, you understand that we don't leave anyone behind. Right. And that would be my thing. I don't leave my men on the battlefield. Right. Um Great line in in movie. We were soldiers. Yep. Mel Gibson. I'm the first one that steps on the field. I'm the, the last, last one, one that steps, steps off. off. Yep. That would be my mentality. Yep. So, I'm all my men are coming home one way or another. So, you 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 say the hero. Mine is actually the explorer. Oh yes. Because it it, it in more ways. I mean, just within the name itself. But the explorer is is naturally driven to push the boundaries of the status quo, and he's. They focus on, they're, they're motivated by self-improvement. Correct. So for, for, for Yen Shang, he started off, and, and this is kind of like where he started was, he was just a deckhand. Right. Being raised to be, groomed to be a pirate, uh, like a ship captain. Right. Right? And, and eventually, because the, the organization is not just about piracy, it's, it, the organization is actually about trade right but we're labeled as pirates so uh what one of one of my favorite lines in all of history is if if the evil i am supposed to be then the evil i will be correct but that's that's kind of where he goes with that but he's always trying to make himself better right hence why and we'll get into accents later 
Hence why Yen Shang's accent will switch between Irish <laughs> and English. He's very multicultural. This he, one. he well, it de- he's trying to blend in. He's right. trying to be accepted. Um, because and, and and guys, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. I am not gonna do the the Jerry Lewis horrible Chinese accent. I'm not gonna do that. It no. Is, it is just utterly and completely disrespectful. Um, I, I, in real life, I am actually Filipino, um, and I, unfortunately, the Philippines at the time during the Renaissance was actually being occupied by the conquistadors, which is why uh, Yen Shang absolutely hates our Spanish ambassador. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I but it's character wise. I, I absolutely love the actor. I think oh, he's I think he's hilarious. I think he's funny. Um and, and he's actually a pretty decent singer. Yeah. Uh, so moving back to this though, you know, that that is that's that first block. Getting through there. You're you're the, the easiest part of this and this is a, this is an <laughs> exercise on on like getting the pen moving. Yes. What's your real name? Yeah. That's really what that's meant to do. <laughs> it's like, put down your name. Yeah. So you go through the archetypes, uh, you know, um, Yen Shang, Baron Robert Adelborn, the third. The third. Uh, job title. Yeah. Ship captain. Baron. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> Commoner. Noble. Archetype. Outlaw. Explorer. Outlaw. Hero. Okay. Apparent age. Yeah, moving on. Yeah. <clears throat> Nationality. Really? <laughs> uh, and, and this is where it gets really fun because, like, family linkages. Uh, I, I like to talk about this because a lot of people that are building roles, and I don't know, again, this is my first year on cast at, at CRF, um, but I, I've written multiple characters. Uh, throughout different genres of games and different things. Oftentimes, when people know that there is a um, an important person, an important figure, they want to be kind of attached to that. Correct. Right? So it's really tough when you're stepping into something that you don't know. For example, joining a troupe to be part of a Renaissance festival. Yes. And not knowing anything. Because how do you have a family linkage to... People you don't know. Lord Robert Adelborn. Yeah. You know, the Baron of Umbersinia. How, how do you have that family tie? Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, typically when, when I see people that, that do this, it's either they're in a relationship or they're really long-time friends. Right. Um, where do you live? Umbersinia? On the ship. Which is actually called Jin Mon. Yeah. Which translates into Golden Eel. Uh, then you move down into motivations and what's your overarching want. Uh, overarching want. Secure trade with the West. Specifically, uh, the English. Yeah, my... So, the, the motivation mine was basically lead my people. Lead my army. Strengthen my, my part of the country. And in turn... I serve the king. So whatever the king wants, that that's what I do. The king wants Scottish eggs. This king does want Scottish eggs. I'm <laughs> fairly certain we need to talk they, to him. Yes. And get, yes. get those. If anybody can get us a sponsor with the uh, Queen's Pantry. Yes. Maybe it's the queen. Ooh, Ooh. since it is Queen's Pantry. Yes. Queen, if you're listening, yes. we're talking to you. We're talking to you. All right. Um, so, and then you go into your secondary wants. And, and these... I view these as like things that maybe I'm wrong, um, but I view these as within a season, a goal that I want to achieve. Yeah, this is this is a one that just because my character was brand new, um, I, I really didn't know where to go with these. Okay, because I knew where I knew where my main goal was. The secondary, I was like secondary ones. I don't know. Um, so I just kind of looked at it like, well, 
he wants peace. He's he's getting older, you know. Um, hey, dude, <laughs> you're right behind me, buddy. Um, you only wished you looked this good. So so I I did a second my my one of my secondary wants was I was looking for a place to lay 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 down, you know, put put the sword down. Ah, you know, it, it's time where I I need to lay the sword down and and leave my people. Right. I can't. So you're you're looking I, more to to go to plow sword uh, plow shares instead of picking up the sword. Exactly. Right. You know, somewhere where I can just be me. Right. You know, um, because if it, once again I look at my father, my father tried to be a ruler and a warrior. Now he's dead. My brother was supposed to be the next one. He's dead. I don't want to follow in their footsteps. They're I'm, dead. I'm, I'm just saying. You know? <laughs> so. I, I need so my secondary want was a, a, a balance in my life. Okay. So, like I said, my my the way that I wrote the way I interpreted this was like the overarching want is the core of the character. Correct. Right. Uh, the secondary wants were things that I wanted to try to achieve during the season. Again, I don't know if that that's the right way because I missed that workshop, kids. Just be honest. <laughs> Uh, but I, I, don't I think, will say I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I so the the two. <laughs> this is why it took me six weeks to get a hold of a, a flintlock pistol. Um, the first one was to secure a foothold in England. Right. That's that guy. You know, we we did that. Yeah, that's done. Okay, so that one was achieved real quick, real early. Thankfully, because uh, otherwise I would have. Probably ended up with Flynn Play. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have been bad. It wouldn't have been good. Either. But it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> I could have played the straight man to him, though. I don't think you can get a word in edgewise. I don't think I needed to. <laughs> I, I, dude, I would, have, I would have played his pen. You know. Oh, yeah. 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 Just, no, that would be Teller. Teller. Yeah. Teller. I, I'll play the Teller. I'll yeah, play absolutely. Uh, but the second one was to secure a Flintlock pistol. Okay. For his uncle. Got you. As a gift, right, right, right. You know, so so now I, I run around and I have I have my flintlock pistol that has a story to it because now it's like, hey, and the beautiful thing is, is it's never been fired, right? I mean, in reality, we know it's a prop. But, well, yeah, but Yen Sheng has yet to fire his pistol. You know, it, I think it's hilarious because a lot of pirates that you see running around, they have like they're bristling. I mean, you even said it yourself. You had three flintlocks plus a blunderbuss. Oh, yeah. A sword. Oh, yeah. Maybe a dagger. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yen Shang walks around with a sword mm -hmm. and a pistol. Because in the East, in, in, in the East, it is not the weapon. It is the man. Right. In the West, looking at you guys, pirates, you have to outfit yourself because you can't handle it. Jack Sparrow. Anyway, um, then you move down. Yeah, just no, dude, I'm, I'm Jack calling people out, man. Episode two of the Renaissance Rascals, bag on Jack Sparrow. Well, no, this this move, it's, it's a segue. <laughs> I'm setting up a segue. Oh, so you're yeah, saying, oh, yeah. okay. Because Sorry. the, the next one is, is who or what do you have conflict with? Yes. Western Jack. Pirates. Western Pirates. Um, I didn't have a solid point for this. The only thing that I could think of was the Spanish. Yes, because if you if you look at the map during that time frame, um, what would become the Philippine Islands was being blockaded by the Spanish, and there was an occupation going on during that time frame. So the conquistadors and all of that, the only people that had really free traffic back and forth for some odd reason was the Portuguese. But I think that's because there was a an uneasy alliance between the Portuguese and right. the Spanish at the time. Um, who, did, who did so? Yeah, I, I ended up. I walked up to uh, the actor who plays um, Alejandro. Alejandro, I'm not, the, I, I'm not saying the whole thing. Dude. Yeah, I, I can't do it. It's like forty words. Yeah, long. it's like five different names. Um, the Prince of, of Spain, or the Ambassador of Spain. Ambassador sorry, of Spain. Ambassador, Ambassador of Spain. Um, I walked up to him and I said, "You and I have beef," and he's like, "Why?" And I said, "I, I, I broke it down for him." He goes, "Whoa," <laughs> I'm like. What? And he goes, you've done a lot of research on that. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And he was like, that's cool. Bet. I said, okay. So, 
I, I developed a bit that went with that. And I, I, I would make sure that I was near him or his, his wife at the time, which was Princess Anna. Right. Um, I, would walk, I would walk by them and I would hand out coins to the children and tell them, here, have a piece of Spain. It's not mine. Don't ask where I got it. <laughs> and I yes. would say it loud enough that they would, hey, wait a minute, what? Hey, wait a minute. And, and the, funny, the, the, the funny thing behind this whole thing is, is that I had, I had bought a bunch of Spanish doubloons from Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was actually feeding the coffers of Spain. <laughs> so, who, who was your conflict? So. <laughs> Other than the French. So, yes, well, French, of course. Um, it, it changed a lot. Um, so, we, we would have to skip ahead in the, in the sheet here a little bit. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, where are we going at? Um, so, so, down at the bottom where, you know, kind of gives you the, the. The shorthand character the, description? Yeah, character description. Mm-hmm. Okay. Most people will see this sheet, and they'll, they'll put their character description on those, you know, what, three, four lines they got there. Mm-hmm. Um, my character description, I, I typed out three three pages. Did it, uh, did it say C attached? Yes. <laughs> so in, in, the, in the bottom, I put C attached paper. Um, so... so Last year, like I said, I did the pirate, and then this year I decided to do something different, yeah. so I had to go through the... So let me ask. Single space, double space. Oh, it was single. Yeah, no, no, there was a lot of information God, there. That's a lot. It, it was, it was. yeah, I, I, I was jamming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it took me a long time to type that, too. And then uh, you got told what? So, so <laughs> yeah, well, so I had to go through the audition process again. Right. Um, because I was changing characters, right. even though I had been invited back. So when I, I was doing the audition process, um, judgmental dad face, um, he told me, he goes, dude, this is really... This That's is the really, casting director. The casting director. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I should have prefaced that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's he's, he's going to hate you. He's going to hate me. Ah, I'm so sorry. I had nothing to do with this. It, no, it was please, totally... Hit. Please, he please, came up with judgmental dad please, face. Please, let me, st- let me come back next year, please. please. We're totally fired, dude. Um... We better get those Scott Jakes now. <laughs> right. They're not going to let us back in. Nope. Um, <laughs> We're going to have to pay our way in. So you know, he told me, he goes, dude, this is so much good information. And, you know, when I was explaining my character and I, I knew all this stuff, and he goes, but really, you have to break it down to about 30 seconds or so. Right. Um, because that's about how much time you have to interact with people. And, and so. <laughs> so what? what is your elevator pitch then? Uh, so basically, my elevator pitch of, of, of why I'm here uh, is I'm, you know, Lord Robert Adelborn of Umbrasinia. I'm here at the at, at the king's request. Um, this is his favorite uh, festival of the season, being coming to Larchmashire. So we've all gathered here to celebrate, and that's why we're all here. Um, See, he's he's English. He's wordy. Yes, I'm very wordy. I st- it's still hard for me to get 30 seconds because I talk. Yeah, um, no, but I mean, like, like, so yeah, I had to, I had to take awesome. all this information that I had, <laughs> and I had to condense it down. Um, you know, it, it over it, you weren't there, um, but the rehearsals that we have, um, you know, really help kind of narrow down a lot of of you know information right. into now where I can just. Introduce myself. This is who I am. This is where I'm from. So, and you, a lot of people go, hmm, "What's with this guy?" Oh, the small Chinese man that's with me. <laughs> let this me, is let who me he ask, is. Though that that's you bring up a very good point. During that workshop, what did I miss? So, <clears throat> is it a collaborative thing? A, a lot of times it is. Okay. Um, because there's people that would would go. Okay, this is my character, and this is you know blah blah blah. I'm here to kill got, the king. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to kill the king. All right, well, don't ever been kill the king. You can only um, die once. Guys. But I do, I do have to, I do have to backtrack one, a uh, uh, quick second. Um, Prescott, who is the uh, improv kind of improv coach, yeah, helped me a lot, a lot with my character development. Um, so and I, he's I, he's I, I, just to kind of like add credence to that. Um, he has been a great source. Yes. For even even me, I, I mean, I, I did a lot of the work on my own because I didn't have anybody to really defer to at the during mm-hmm. the writing of it. But even afterwards, I, you know, I, I we talked it out, and he was like, "Dude, I like that. Yeah, like that's 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 very awesome." So. When you when you hear a phrase, um, run with it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Right I mean, it, it was it, he was vital in kind of going, I think, okay, I like what you're doing here. Let's break this down. Let's take yeah. a little bit out here. You're Let's missing take, a piece. Yeah, take put this in, take that. And so we just kind of bounced back and forth to yeah. what it came today. So now, well, and even then, because of because of where we are, it, it is so now I have conflict with pirates because I don't want pirates on my land. Well, it doesn't make it you doesn't know make any sense. And for so to abide by now it. that you and I. Have this kind of thing of of your the the kind of backstory you know is you're letting me know when there's piracy going on on my land so that you can continue being a merchant. So um, as character development goes, remember kids, we talked about and then. So yes. the and then for Yin Shang is as of this year, he Yin Shang is now a privateer. Yes. In his majesty's navy. Yes. So, and then, always remember to continue moving forward. But, you know, I'm going to back you up just a little bit. Because Absolutely. Because you missed a very, very vital piece of information that I, I, I think is my favorite part of your whole story about how you came to create Adelborn. Um, and that was... Remember, folks, he said he had three pages <laughs> of information. Sing, I did. Single space, okay? Yes. Single space, 12-point font, you know, I mean, it was it was a lot. There was a lot going on. So uh, our, our improv coach told him, dude, this would make a great movie. Yes. So, yes. So, uh, unfortunately, Keith was writing an epic. He was writing a cinematic masterpiece. That does not translate into the little hit and runs that we are known to do out in the streetways. You have to break it down so that it's easily digestible. Yes, you're going to have characters that have been developed for ages, for, for years. Yeah. Like the most famous out of CRF, Lucinda. Oh, yeah. You know, that that's that's a character that... It, she has developed that character over several years. Several years, and, and she's got it to a point where the notoriety is there. I mean, dude, she eats kids, but kids go looking for her. Yeah. What <laughs> is that all about? It's like meals are being delivered. It's like, yeah. it's not even takeout. It's walk in. They yeah. walk right in. Well, she, I mean, she can't run after them because she doesn't like fast food. Right, right, so. right. She's very preferential to Uber Eats, so yeah, feel absolutely. free to, to let, let, you know. Bring your kids right over right, to her. That's right. Um, you had mentioned, like, like your whole, the, the three-sentence thing. Uh, yes. And, and, and at the bottom of the sheet, if you guys take a look at the bottom of the sheet, it says, shorthand character description, no more than three sentences. And... I yes. understood that as no more than three pages, uh, and I kept it under three pages. I see where you could get confused. Yeah. Sentences, pages, it's the same amount of words. I didn't have my glasses on at the yeah. time. I, I get you. It's yeah. same amount of words, starts with the same letter. Yeah. See, you know, it, it, I was there. It, it works. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of thought into this character. So, and it's funny because when 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 we try to do character interact, uh, introductions and... I remember, because uh, I, I, again, I missed the Saturday where everybody did character introductions. Yes. And I came in on Sunday, and everybody was looking at me like, who's this dude? Yeah. And I really felt I, I was one of those yeah, people. No, and, and it was, <laughs> I was I, like, who's this I dude? I felt odd. And so they, you know, the, the, the casting director says, introduce yourself. And I got up there, and I said, I am Captain Yen Shang of the Woku. That yeah. is all you need to know. And so, as, as a side note of that, they broke us up into different groups. So, I wasn't in your group when you introduced. So, I still had no idea yeah. who you... I, I saw you, yeah. and I'm like, I have no idea who this dude is. And But we never really had a chance to talk or anything no. during rehearsals. It no. was kind of like... But a, a lot of the reason it was because of the rain. Yep. And so, we were kind of in different areas and, and, and small stuff. But it wasn't until that first... The first that weekend. first weekend yeah. where I actually... Yeah, because I wasn't even at dress rehearsals. who you were. I was <laughs> I, like, I, I don't even know who this dude is. And he shows up and he's like, I'm like... Yeah, the crazy thing Chinese. Is, what the I wasn't going even, on? I wasn't even at dress rehearsals. That's the funny no. part. Because I was in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's crazy because not only did I miss... And, and kids, this is, this is very important, friends. If you are going to make the journey to be on the cast... 
please do yourself the service of making sure that you are at rehearsals yes. every day. Um, it, it was a struggle for me. Uh, I, I'm, but I, as I always like to say, be like water. You know, you you can bend and and, and flow where you need to. The other thing is, don't be afraid to ask the veterans, the veteran cast members, or the assistant director. Don't bother the casting director. Once you're in, leave it alone, man. That guy is busy. He will judge you. He's got that face. But it's more because he's busy. Yeah. Uh, lean heavy on, on the assistant director on on things. And you're going to get that speech when, it, when that time comes, okay? But... Make sure you're there because these things, they will go over all of this. Oh, yeah. There's, Ad nauseum. And yeah, you, you want it's, it. It's, it's, there, there's a lot of information that, that goes out during rehearsals. And, and you know, for, for the veteran, you know, actors, I don't consider myself a veteran. You're a veteran of the, cast member. Of, 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 the, of the renaissance. I, I've been doing this a long time, so I consider myself a veteran in that way. But, right. Um, so some of it is very remedial. You know, yes. and it's very, I have heard this before, da, 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 da. but it, it's always good to jump in there and, and get, get everything flowing again. Right. You know, um, cause not everyone has the opportunity to go out and do different things. So from the end of fair one year until the beginning of rehearsals the next Nine year, months. there's sometimes that there's, you know, cast members that don't get to flex that muscle, right. you know, and it's like muscle memory. But that's kind of like what we're doing this. Right, because right. This is going to help us by helping you in the audience. What we're doing is we're helping ourselves because we're reminding ourselves about the characters that we we have, and then and, and that yeah. And, and see, for me, I I jump right out of Renaissance Festival right into Haunted House season. So it, it's it's like well, I literally have a break, yeah. and then in between in between Renaissance weeks. Festival. And haunted house season, then we're it's, it's now going down to the Santa, Santa Fe Renaissance. Yeah. So it's literally, it's so, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought about that uh, before. You know, like we went down to Santa Fe, and then two weeks later, you were getting ramped up for yep. the, the haunts. Yeah, um, and I'm telling you, like and, again, we do these things because we love to do them, and they're fun. But if you want to be good. You gotta put in the legwork. It's it, it's practice. Yes, and, and, and really, that's a, a lot of it. I, I use the same principles that we're talking about right here to to in haunted house stuff, yeah. And, yeah. and even in further episodes as we talk about improv and yep. you know all this other stuff. Listen, you know, active listening. Yes, you know, I listen for when people are come up to you know where where I'm at. I'm listening to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So the depends on the way they're walking, the way they're talking, the way their group is interacting. All has to do with how I interact with them. So I'm sorry, I just in my head I just envisioned the, the <laughs> guy in the chips with the circle. I'm just uh, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that guy. Let's uh, So finishing out the character sheet, you know, you yeah. got the next line after your conflict is what makes you interesting. As Yen Chang, freaking look at me dude. Yeah. I mean you know, you can you can you can sit there and you can watch the the, the pictures that are flying by here. Uh, Absolutely, and you'll see my guard. Look, there I am. What makes me interesting, dude? I have a wine gourd. Yeah, <laughs> like I have a wine gourd and a freaking seven pound sword. That makes me interesting. No, what makes me interesting is that I am the only person from the east on cast. Absolutely. That that is my my shtick for right now. Now, yeah. in future years, if we if we get more and more diverse backgrounds, um, because I, I I pray for it, I hope for it. Yeah. Um, then what my my thing then is what makes me interesting. Well, I'm here to secure trade. Yeah. I have salt. I have. There's that, that little twist. Salt. Sorry, sorry, salt. salt. Um, and spices and silks. Yeah. And that's what I bring. You know, and, and now I can even add on to there, well, I bring paper. And so, so as, as, as you look at it, so now, Carrick, <clears throat> as we've talked for the last however long. Yeah, it's been an hour, for, but we're going to keep on running because we've got a couple more things to talk about. Yeah. So as far as character development goes, 
I, it, it, it's always, you know, like we say, and then. Right. And so now for next year, I'm already looking forward to next year yes. as to as to elevate my character a little bit. Yes. So we'll, we'll talk in another episode about costuming. Yes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a different costume. Right. Um, wardrobe. Is wardrobe outfit garb whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, it. It's but it, it's gonna just be one of those things that. So you're not gonna look like you're just a pirate. Correct. Correct. Right. Which I looked. That way, kind of on purpose, because I wanted to set myself apart, but I think I was still kind of leaning more towards the piratey, you know, kind of thing. Well, you're, you're, I, I have. But I hang out with you, so, yeah, right. okay. It, it, it's, okay, I see why he dresses that way. And, and I've told We're... you that your, your character kind of, to me, and just with, before you even gave me your background, oh, dude, you're Adelbar. Yeah. From, from freaking Night's Tale, man. <laughs> right. You're Adelbar. Yeah. Like, that's. Yeah, you're you're a jerk. I yeah. like you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So so the the development of my character is going to go on for for so right. then next year anyone who's seen me this past year if you look at the pictures you'll see what I look I will look completely different. Um, still be the same character, maybe a couple different you know tweaks in the way I talk, you know interactions a little bit things that you and I do. Right. Um, but it's still it, it you always have to you have look, to you, keep you elevating keep it fresh. Yep. You know. If you you know you met, had mentioned Lucinda, yep. if you look at Lucinda from years ago, she didn't look anything like she does now. Didn't act you that know, way either. And didn't act that way. So it, it's always like, all right, what am I going to do different this year? Right. You know, and that's what we talk in the pigeonholing. Yep. You know. Yep. Uh, and then. That's and right. Then what? That's What's the, the next way. step? That's the easiest way to avoid those character traps and the pigeonholing. You know, it, it's and I'm not gonna I'm not picking on anybody, but let's let's take a look at like. I'm a fighter. Yeah. Okay? And I am the best fighter in Larkspurshire. Sure. And then what? Says who? <laughs> says well, I mean, my, my first thing is, says who? Yeah. Like, and, and then then you then you go into the thought process of, okay, well, what are you going to say? Right. Like, are, are you going to, are you going to be that person that just walks around and tries to pick fights with kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had those. I, I mean, and I say that because you and I have talked about some yes. of these people that have have, <laughs> have left the the, the cast. Um, but so you you have to build that. Okay, so let's say you want to be a fighter. Okay, right. Um, well, let's let's define that better. All right. What kind of fighter are you? Are you an instructor? Are you a master at arms? What what kind of fighter are you? You know, how do you fit in? Instead of just saying that I am this, make it more in depth. Build more upon that and dig into it. Right. Because you, I mean, what what were you know what were you? This is a great thing. Uh, I was in the military. Yeah. Okay. Great. You were in the military. Well, what does that mean? Which branch? This, these are the questions that pop up oh, in people's sure. Oh, absolutely. Naturally, right? absolutely. So, what branch were you in? What What did you do? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, did you go on any deployments? Did you, you know, there, there's, from that, there are so many questions. So when you're, when you're developing a character, you should be asking yourselves these questions as you're writing the character. Right. Okay, cool. You're going to be a baron. A yes. baron of what? Okay. What, what is, what is Umbracinia known for? And these are questions that you answered as you were writing it. Yeah, you know? I, I, that, that, that was one of the things because I was like, I don't know, what am I gonna? And, and so I, I did the same thing. Right. Is I went, all right, what do we do there? Right. Are we a bunch of farmers? No, that's not gonna play well. Ooh, Ooh no, I got it. Hold on. This <laughs> because is Sparta. Sorry. <laughs> because I can speak to that mentality. No, I. You know, and that works. That works. You know, like like you and I talked about this before. It's it's easy for us as as service members as veterans, to turn around and be like, okay, I'm going to play a military dude. Yeah. I already know how to do that. Yeah, it's like, super I easy. I that for 22 years. I know how to do that without flinching. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's that's simple. But now you take somebody that has never been involved in the military, has never had any formal martial arts training or anything like that, and they're a captain of the guards. Yeah. Now, I'm not picking on anybody. No, no, no. I, I'm just saying that it is it is a hard role to fill 
because what is your source material? Correct. Like, where, where is your reference point? And, and really why I make these statements is just so that you can, you, you know, audience out there, guys, start looking at pop culture references, you know, look at some of the, the, the movies that you like to watch, like fantasy, you know, you can go to Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, uh, Game of Thrones, you can even go back in into more historical pieces that are out there. And look at what the, the, how those people carried themselves and how they acted and how they poor, you know communicated. There's documentation out there that, that you can use. And if you base your stuff on something that somebody's already done, right. it's a lot easier to ape that, that, that behavior yeah. and make it a lot easier. Yeah, and, and that's why I said with, the, with this character, I should say any character I do yes. is, is based on something in my personality. He's got a lot of voices in his head. Uh, in one hums. Um, Lovely. Oh, that's incessant. Um, that's a good word, too, by the way. Incessant? incessant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's very eloquent. Of I, know, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, no. So that's, that's you know, what, you know going back to, to um, <laughs> judge, judging dad face was on there. Um <laughs> I just, just thought I was like, oh, I look back and I see Don Quixote. I'm yeah, like, no, <laughs> no, I love that guy too. Um, it's uh, so cat. so that's when when you know I, I went okay. How is he gonna act? How is he? He's military dude. Yeah, you know. So it was very easy for me to go. I already, I got that. You know, it was just certain you know other aspects of his right. personality, but right. the way he walks, the way he talks, the way. You know, we, you and I interact. It's all very military. Yes, it, it, it very much is. Um, and and that is that is the cool part because the two characters, one's from the Navy, you know. He, yeah. He's, he's a very taciturn person. He's very direct in what he needs to say. But it's also because English is the second language for him. Right. So it's, it's, it's very, very clippy in the way that I talk yes. most of the time. It's very crisp, you know. Um, I'm not normally that type. Dude, I'm a very verbose little bastard, man. I, I talk Ooh, all the time. That's a good word. Oh, yes, oh, was... yes. Very eloquent words. Oh. Um, but I have a very broad vocabulary, and I like to use it. And so I will, it, naturally, I like to speak. But um, the character does not. The character would rather show you. Right. Than do. Yes. You know, than, than to say it. Um it, it's it's really funny because a lot of times uh, Lord Adelborn will be walking, you know, Yen Sheng and, and Adelborn will be walking down the, the streetway, and then the Baron turns around and there's no Yen, Yen Sheng anywhere. Where did mm -hmm. he go? He just, yeah, gotta go do this. I, now, I try to let him know, he don't listen. I don't and that, listen. And that humming voice. Yeah. So the last two lines on, on the character development sheet, the flaws and quirks. So, these can be dangerous. This is where I was, you know, where we were talking about, like, character traps. Yes. These can be dangerous. Um, I like to point this out, and I say dangerous because some characters that are in um, cinema and television, uh, the actors hurt themselves because of these flaws. Yes. Um, Hugh Laurie. From, mm -hmm. you know, he plays, uh, what was that? House. House. Uh, ended up having problems because he had to do that limp. Mm -hmm. Almost quit the show because of that. Right. Um, but it caused him actual physical pain. So, be mindful of when, when you, you do these, because these character traps, if you are always going to have this this twitch, you, you write that your character is twitchy or, or yeah. always shifty, Expect that you're going to have to play that out, or as as a good actor, devise a way that your character has rid themselves of that problem. Yes, because it doesn't just go. I'm not that anymore. Right. All right. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that to show character growth. You should be able to take that and go this way. Right. Now, right. Yen Shang is arrogant. That is his flaw. He is arrogant. He is better than everybody else. And while I did forget on the first day to bow the second day I did it on purpose the second day I did it on purpose and then I got talked to and then that ended there yeah, yeah. but it was it was a good bit and I was told okay that yeah. was good that was cool don't do it again 
it, it, on on one on one side of the coin, it makes sense, right? Why you didn't do it on right. the other side of the coin? No, and and, and it, I, it, I that's yeah. why I, I conceded very the, the same reason when I was a pirate. Why I thought, oh, I'm not going to bow to the. Why would I bow to them? I'm a pirate. I can do what I want. Yeah, see, that wasn't my oh, no. my explanation. Was <laughs> my explanation was I'm better than that one and that one, and they bow to you. So why do I have to bow yeah. to you? But it was more so because I'm from the east. And, and of course, the, the bowing and everything, we will get into in another episode yes. of knowing your place in the Shire, yes. and of the hierarchies and how to enter. Ooh, I like that. Hierarchies and etiquette. Oh, I love that. That was, that was pretty good. Yes. Dang. Yes. I like that. I'm, yes, very good. I am smooth. Yeah. Sometimes stupid, but... Some, most of, <laughs> mostly. So, I mean... The, the character sheets are there. If you guys uh, want to take a look at that character sheet, I'm gonna drop a uh, I'm gonna drop a link. Yeah. Uh, where you guys can find that. But if if while you're doing your character development and you want somebody to take a look at it, dude, all you got to do is email us Renaissance Rascals at gmail .com. We'll take a look at it. We'll let you know um, and what it, we think about it. And, and we'll, I would say I would say even if you have done the same character for two, three, whatever years. Fill it out. Maybe something has changed, or you want to change something in your character, and you go, oh, yeah, wait a minute, I want to do this, because um, it's something that I'm going to look into for next year. Yeah. And just fill it out, because there's things that have changed. Yeah. You know? Well, and, that's, and, that's why I like to have those those secondary wants yeah. as goals that I'm going to achieve during the season. Right, right. Because now it's forcing me that I have to go back and look at that again. Yeah. I have to re I have to create new secondary goals. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because things have to now the the, the first average is, uh, the average the chance. average patron is not going to know that that we're doing this you no, know but this is for not. us as actors to go forward in in our roles and to yes. expand our roles so we don't get pigeonholed into and and then yeah no and then you got nothing. no and then yeah <laughs> you, you want the end then you, you want okay and, and now so so now that I've done my first year mm -hmm. you know as the Baron. What does the second year look like? Because I already know I have to. I have to get a little bit deeper into the character. I have to become more lordly, lordly, nobly, yeah. whatever. However you want to, nobly. you know, nobly. <laughs> I have to be nobly, dude. We're totally not getting hired back, dude. He's gonna, he's gonna fire us. We're already fired. He, you said nobly, <laughs> it's, dude. It's a word. No, it's not. It is. I just said it. It's a word. <laughs> Just because you make noises with your mouth does not make it work. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> so, right. I mean, ultimately, what we're what we're we're here to do, guys, is we, ladies, gentlemen, uh, children of all ages, boys and girls, children of all girls, ages. What we're actually trying to do is we're we're trying to help you to, um, through our follies and our, our trials and tribulations, yeah. help you with our experience and show you where, if you're getting ready to join us at at. at, at Colorado Renaissance Festival or Santa Fe, where we're at right now. Um, well, not physically, but you know, those those are the two places we perform. Right. Um, if, if you are looking to join us, um, you got to start thinking about these roles. Please don't wait until the last minute. Yeah. Start thinking about it now, because, well, dude, there's there's a lot of planning that goes into this, yes. and last minute is not not good. Mine fell into place very easily. Mine took forever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I would almost assume that yours took about nine, the better part of nine and a half months. It, it did. I, it, once I made the decision to do it, um, it, it, it was probably a good four or five months to really nail down. Right. You know, because I, you know, like everybody, you know, I got a job and I have other sure. things I have to think about. And, sure. But the the free time that I had was was fixing this because I'm like. All right, rehearsals are coming up. I know yep. rehearsals are coming up, and you know. Then I had to do the audition, so I had to make sure everything was ready to go before the audition. And then once that happened, I, I went. Audition again. I went. <laughs> oh damn! I, now I got to change everything because it's too long. It's too this, too that, and so I only had a certain amount of weeks before rehearsal started to do this. So, so, but yeah, like like Rob said, guys, if, if, if this whole podcast is to help you. In, in becoming a better actor, and I, I would be remiss if I didn't say, by helping you, you guys are helping us. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, even even talking, you know, now is kind of went, oh, wait a minute, I want to I look at
look at, you know, so I'm just getting different ideas. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, man, just send us an send email. It. You know, Renaissance for Rascals, gmail.com. You can leave a comment below. You Absolutely. Know, you know, you can leave a comment wherever. We're on Twitch. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. You, we could send it by Gmail. I mean, hey, man, if you've got my number, you can call me personally. But uh, yeah, I'm not absolutely. posting that up there. Send me new. <laughs> Ooh, we need a Renaissance Rascals hotline. Oh, all right. We're going to work on that. I want a red phone. Oh, we're totally I, getting I a red phone. I want a red phone. phone. <laughs> we're totally getting a red phone. Like the bad phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're fired. so stupid. <laughs> We do appreciate you guys tuning in. For we did, sure. We did run a little bit long today, but that's because we were trying to make sure that you guys understood what is on that sheet. That's a very important thing because it's going to help you prevent from falling through those character traps and pigeonholing yourselves to... It's it's a very... Like uh, like we said in the beginning, it's a very important step. It, 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 that sheet determines the outcome of, of everything. So, yes. so you know, we, we try not to go too long, but this, this episode really, there's a lot of information. We yes. could keep going, really, if we wanted. Yes, but, but um, we, we do have some, some food coming. Um, so we're going to have to let you guys go, but thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Absolutely. I think next week we're talking about something about doing something with hierarchy. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk about costuming next. That's going to be a know your role. Yeah. Where do you f get in? Where do you fit in? Or should we talk about like dressing? Like, you know, let's make it a surprise. Okay. 50 50. It'll be one or the other. Or it could be something different. Or we're not going to do it because we're hunting down Scotch eggs. Oh. By the way, we are looking for sponsors, Queen Pantry. This episode unofficially is sponsored by the Queen's Pantry, the maker of the majestic Wonderful. Scotch egg. Decadence at its finest. I'm going to have to find more words. Yeah, we need more words for the more, Scotch Egg. More words for the Scotch Egg. But we do appreciate you guys coming out here and checking out the Renaissance Rascals. We are having a blast with this journey. Hopefully you guys are doing that too. I hope so. If not, tune in have, next week. It'll be different. Have a Scotch Egg. Have a Scotch Egg. It'll make it all better. I think Bye. so. Bye, friends.